Have you ever wondered what happens when you fill your bathtub to the brim and then step into it? Or if the gear on the left is turning clockwise, which way will the gear on the right turn? These questions are answered using mechanical or physical inferences, a cognitive process that allows us to derive new information from given information. In the realm of cognitive science, mechanical reasoning has been a subject of great interest. It involves making inferences about the motion of objects based on our understanding of physics, often referred to as naive physics. This understanding forms the foundation of our reasoning, allowing us to predict the behavior of complex physical systems. But how do we mentally represent these mechanical systems? And what mental processes do we use to make these inferences? This is where the concept of a mental model comes into play. In psychology, a mental model refers to the knowledge and cognitive processes that allow us to understand, predict, and reason about the behavior of complex physical systems. Interestingly, the concept of mental models doesn't make any strong predictions about the format of the knowledge representations involved. Inferences can be drawn from analogies to familiar situations or based on rules of mechanical reasoning. For instance, to answer the bathtub question, one might use a memory of someone diving into a very full swimming pool. Or, to determine the direction of the turning gears, one could use the rule that interlocking gears move in opposite directions. However, it's crucial to understand that these mental models aren't holistic visual images inspected in the mind's eye. They are constructed piece by piece, including representations of non-visible properties and used in conjunction with non-imagery processes like task decomposition and rule-based reasoning. In conclusion, mental simulation is a fascinating strategy in mechanical reasoning. It involves using mental models to make inferences about the motion of objects. These models are constructed incrementally and can represent non-visible properties. They can also be used alongside other cognitive processes, such as task decomposition and rule-based reasoning. This intricate process of mental simulation allows us to predict the behavior of physical systems, even in situations where we don't have correct descriptive knowledge.